So here we have to show the equation 3 tan theta is equal to this can be expressed as this. So again, at first it may look confusing, but we have to always proceed step by step. So here we have 3 tan theta is equal to 2 cos theta. Now we understand that in this equation we don't have any tan, no cos. So we have to do something, right? We have to change something. So let's first try to change this. We understand that tan theta is equal to what? We know it is equal to sine theta over the value of cos theta. That's something we know. We all we have to know, right? So let's replace. You have 3 sine theta over the value of cos theta. That will be 2 cos theta over the value of 1. Now we can just cross multiply. You will have 2 sine theta, sorry this is 3 here, and this will go up here, that will be 2 cos square theta in this case. So now we can always um, try to expand this because we know that cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1. So we know this is given to you as well on your list of formula. Now let's make this become the subject, that will be 1 minus sine square theta. Right. Replace, you will have 3 sine theta is equal to 2 times 1 minus sine square theta. Right. So you will have 3 sine theta is equal to 2 minus 2 sine square theta. Now let's send, let's send everything to one side. You will have 2 sine square theta plus 3 sine theta minus 2 is equal to 0. Aha, so now this is exactly what we are trying to find and this is shown as required. Okay, that is part one of the question solved for you, shown as we need to show. Now for part two, we have to hence, hence means we have to use part one, solve the equation, this, between the values of theta is between 0 and 360. So pretty easy. Now, we have to solve part 2, right? It is 3 tan theta is equal to 2 cos theta. Now we understand that from the first part, this is also equal to 2 sine square theta plus 3 sine theta minus 2, that will be the value of 0. Now as you can see, clearly it will be a quadratic equation. However, if you guys have some issues working with sine square and stuff, you can always let u equal to sine theta for now. So you will have 2 u square plus 3u minus 2 equal to 0. Now it is much simpler to look at. Now again we have to factorize and try to solve this quadratic equation. That will be 2u times u for 2u square. And here we have 2. So 2 is 2 times 1. Let's put 2 here and 1 here. Now, because we're trying to find the value of plus 3, plus 3, right, we have to have plus 4 and then minus 1. Now we understand that when we find this, we always take the first one multiplied by the last one. So here you can see 2u multiplied by plus 2 is plus 4. And then take this one, multiply by this one. So plus 4 minus 1, that should be plus 3, which is good. Now check, minus times plus has to be minus, so here we have minus, so it is good factorization. So let's solve. First one will be 2u minus 1 will be 0, so u will be the value of half. u plus 2 will be 0, u will be the value of minus 2. Now again, we're not trying to find the value of u, we're trying to find the value of theta, so we place this one back in the main equation. So u is equal to sine theta. So sine theta is the value of half and sine theta is the value of minus 2. Now this will be invalid because we understand that or we have to know that sine theta is always going to be between the value of minus 1 and 1. So let's make a note of this so you guys know this as well. Sine theta is always going to be between the values of minus 1 and 1. Okay, that is something we have to know because of this. Or you can just try, hey, um, so sine theta is minus 2, so sine inverse of minus 2 should be what? Bam, error, so it's not possible. Okay, so let's do this one. 
Now, as you can see, sine theta is positive, which is plus half. It should be what? It should be, as we know, we use the quadrants here. That will be A, S, T, C. It should be in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant because it is A here and S here. So this is just the angle directly. And this will be 180 minus the angle. So theta here will be what? Sine inverse of half. Sine inverse of half. That will be. Here we have to use degrees. That will be 30. This is the first angle here. We also have to find this one. That will be 180 minus 30. That should be 150 as your answer. So here in the end, we end up with two values for theta. Theta will be 30 or 150 as your final value for this equation to be true. And this is a question involving trigonometry.